So I got the Amico Cut 40 back out. So last time I just talked a little bit about it. And this time I just want to let you guys see what it does. Uh, I guess the Zuki Samurai I need to make some parts for. So I figured to fire this up and slice them out real quick and let you see what you think. I've also got some aluminum I need to cut into a couple little strips. And uh, I'll get to see what it does with that too. I'm going to cut this on 30 amps. This is plugged into 110 volt. Uh, this isn't even on the 220 volt setting. So let's try it out. Started to run a little bit fast on it right here, and I wanted to blow back some, but it's 0.22 inches, so somewhere around there. It's not terribly thin, a little bit under a quarter inch. Let's cut the next one. hair short at the end there just so I didn't have to uh, worry about it falling on my shoe. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. I got some .025, some pretty thin sheet metal I've used for something. I wonder how clean of a cut it'll make on that. I turned it down to about 20 amps. I don't think I've ever cut anything this thin, uh, so I really have no idea what to set it to. Well, that surprised me. I don't even know where the end of it went. Like it just... Is this aluminum? It says aluminum finish. But I thought it was steel. It burns pretty wide. Let me uh, turn this heat down a little bit more. I actually turned it almost all the way down. This is a five amps. Just to, just curious what it'll do. This cuts through, this has got to be aluminum. It said aluminum finish, I thought it was just like aluminum steel, but um, I guess it's aluminum. Let me cut on this, one of these larger sections. I really want to show how, how wide of a cut it's making. That's at five amps. Now this is, you know, this is really thin metal anyways but that'll give you some uh fairly accurate cuts if you wanted to you can turn it all the way down to two amps so this is cutting at two amps and i'm gonna go ahead and change the uh, electrode around because this is still the very first electrode i put in it i haven't had to change it yet i mean it's not looking terribly healthy it's actually looking really bad, but it's cutting fine. So that's, that's what matters to me, I'm cheap. There's a fresh side. Like I said, I'm just switching the electrode around to the good side. I'm not even changing the tip. It's a two amp cut. It took a little bit to get it started. But uh, I think that's mostly because the air pressure is blowing it away.
it is a two amp cut not terrible I like it there's the back side maybe it could be better I've never had to cut aluminum with plasma before so I, I don't know how that compares I have some more aluminum to cut though let's grab it all right so I'm just gonna wet out our, or cut out a couple four inch test strips I set it to 18 amps Not enough for a complete cut. So 18 amps is too low for eighth inch steel, or eighth inch aluminum. Take it back up to 30. This is one eighth aluminum. There's the, uh, was it like 18 amps? And then there's 30. Got some slag on the back side. Still made a pretty nice clean cut. Stuff comes off there pretty easy. A little bit of a uh, wire wheel action be gone. I'll just cut out two more. Little 30 amp cut. I believe with some more practice I could be better at that, but this is literally the um, well, first, second time I've cut aluminum. So there might be some different technique to it than cutting steel.